So transfer learning is something that I want to cover that is really important. Most models are not trained from scratch. So the concept of training from scratch is like training from randomly initiated values. So remember, we have the input, we have the output, and then we have the parameters in the body of the model that we're then updating to make sure that the input is then transformed into the output. Randomly starting would be randomly setting these values. And that what that looks like is, as we said in the beginning, with like randomly guessing cat, dog, duck and getting like a 33% score at the beginning, just randomly guessing across the classes. This requires an extraordinary amount of compute. That is because you have to update all of the billions of parameters over and over and over again to get from like nothing, like static. Like imagine your concept of like what makes a person a person is, you know, the face and the eyes and the mouth and the ears and like all these things. When you look at a person, you see the outlines of these things. Those are the eyes, those are the ears, those are the... Imagine if it was just static. You just like looked at a person, there was just nothing defining about them. It was, you basically just saw static. That is what randomly initiating a model does. And so to get to learn these features from like static, from nothing is like, takes so much compute. It's uh, unbelievable, depending on how many parameters there are, which these days, right, we're training on billions and billions of parameters. So transfer learning is a way of standing on the shoulders of the work that has been done before us and learning from prior models. Imagine you're classifying different species of dogs. You might start with a model that classifies animals. So it has learned from static to features, eyes and shape of the head and shape of the body. It has learned features already. And so then you're able to just get even more features. You're fine tuning the model to learn, oh, like this is what makes a Bichon Frise from a Chihuahua. Like you're just fine tuning the brain's feature detection of the model to be for a new task, certain types of dogs. And so that's much less compute than starting from nothing, starting from static. So I hope that that makes sense. And that is what transfer learning is. Fine tuning, I use that term, is when you take a model that is pre-trained so like transfer learning, you take this model that has been pre-trained and you add your data to fine tune the model's brain on those features. That is what fine tuning is. So it is less data intensive. I mean, these days, again, pretty much everything is like fine tuning because we don't start from nothing. So it's kind of just now used interchangeably with training because everyone kind of starts with a model that existed before.